Does anyone know how a toy telephone made with two tin cans and a piece of string works? You know, who know? Tell us, Mr. Audio. Talking into the tin can creates sound waves, which causes the end of the can to act as a diaphragm and vibrate. These vibrations are transmitted to the taut string, which causes the end of the distant can to also vibrate and reproduce the voice. This simple tin can and string idea was how sound was recorded for the first 50 years, starting with Thomas Edison. In 1877, Edison was working on an invention to transcribe telegraph signals for retransmission. His Edison cylinder used paraffin-coated paper, which could be etched by a needle. However, a year later, when Alexander Graham Bell invented the telephone, Edison modified his invention to adapt it for voice recording. He replaced the paper with tin foil, and the Edison cylinder could now record voice. Thanks, Mr. Audio. For more interesting facts about sound, visit Mr. Audio at soundimages.com.